<laughs> I can already tell by the shoes in the thumbnail, there will be lots of slides. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe below. Thomas Blachard is a very special Lindy Hop practitioner to me. It's not that he's just been around for a long time, but I appreciate his unique style throughout the entire Lindy Hop multi-generational history we all share. Point blank, he's in my top 10 greatest Lindy Hop leaders of all times list. It changes sometimes, but he's always in it. And the main reason is, is because of his uniqueness. Now, Carol has less footage, but the footage I see of her is generally with Doma. To me, she perfectly complements his syncopated rhythmic style with a more silky and subtle playfulness. Now, I wanna take a look at this clip and give you guys my thoughts, but make sure you check out the benefits of being a member of my Street Smart Swing community. As members, you get access to everything I've created in a weekly class format. I mean, how awesome is that? Plus, you get access to my simplified system to help you master Lindy Hop quickly because who wants to take a long time to learn anything? I certainly don't. So check out the link in the description below. Now, let's jump right into this. <laughs>
to have such a magical charisma. This performance is a strong balance of like technical sophistication and playfulness. When I'm watching them, it's almost as if they're trying to persuade me to get up and start dancing with them. Every time they perform, it seems to be like this, some kind of inside joke that they're letting the audience peek in on. I never know what it is, but they make me feel like I want to know. They indirectly tease the audience effectively, and that isn't common. I mean, a lot of dancers try to engage with the audience, but it, it sometimes just feels formulaic because it's usually a Lindy Hop audience, and the audience in the Lindy Hop crowd is willing to kind of be more forgiving and play along. I feel like these two are talking to me as someone who might not swing dance yet and they're kind of saying hey Jamin look how much fun we're having you're missing out we want to dance with you buddy so come join our Lindy Hop cult now I will admit as the performance goes along it gets a bit campy in some spots and unrestrained but I can kind of ignore that since they perform so solidly on a technical level. Sometimes occasional goofiness is the only way to not take yourself so seriously if you're really good. Although I will say a lot of people who aren't very good overuse it to try to win the heart of the audience and sometimes it works. Normally doesn't work on me. Overall I feel this is another special moment captured on film and I am glad we have the technology where I can just eavesdrop a little bit for my own selfish pleasure. Overall, I thought it was a pretty dope performance. What did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos I produce. If I don't see those comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my newest class online. Take care.